Hey y'all, Backyard Bee Builder here. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've posted anything, but it's been kind of crazy with this virus going around and everything, and um, had kids home and whatnot, so um, I wanted to get back to it. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to um, go over um, critters in your bee yard. I mean, we've had a lot of issues with it this summer. Um, just in the past summer, we've caught 16 skunk in our bee yard. And this isn't something that we have an issue with normally. I don't ever even see a skunk in my yard. Um, but with the bees, um, the skunks do get into them. There's also raccoons and badgers and all kinds of things that can actually get into your hives. Um, so I kind of wanted to go over, over it because a lot of people don't really um, recognize that there's anything getting into their hives. Um, a good indicator of that is if you go into your, into your apiary and you realize that stuff's been kind of moved around or like your entrance reducer's been pulled away, a lot of, that, a lot of that's an indicator of um, some kind of predator getting into your hives. Um, a big indicator for me is if I get into my hives and they have a queen and they have eggs and resources and they're doing fine but they're still pretty aggressive, I know that something's going on. Um, if, if I walk into my bee yard and I barely make any noise and they start to come after me, I can tell that they've been harassed in some way. So, um, I just wanted to kind of go over what I use to get rid of critters and what it's worked really well for um, me and my bee yard and uh, see if that helps anyone. So what I use in my bee yard are actually live traps. That's what I like to use um, to catch the skunks with. Um, now you can see here, I hadn't even been out here to check my traps yet this morning. And if you look at this, you can see that um, something has already been in here um, trying to get at my bait. My cage is all tipped over. Um, I actually have a couple of them. Once I started getting a bunch of skunks, um, this is actually a smaller cage. This is just kind of what it looks like. Now this cage um, is just a live trap that you set and when they step on this uh, plate right here, it closes. Um, what I like to do is get a baggie and put a hot dog inside of the baggie and um, leave it in there. If I just put the hot dog in the cage, it tends to, um, I have issues with them just grabbing it and getting out without actually setting off the trap. So um, I like to actually put my bait in a baggie when I put it in there. Now, as you can see, it got tipped over, but um, it didn't catch anything, which probably tells me that whatever was trying to get into it was too big for this trap. So that's actually why I have a bigger trap. It's my bigger trap, but nothing's in it today. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it set and see if I catch anything tonight. So here's what one of my traps looks like with the skunk in it. Um, they are effective and it works out well. A another big deterrent for skunk is actually to put your hives um, at least 18 inches up off the ground. Um, as you can see, I've got them stacked on three pallets each. Um, this actually helps so the skunk have to get up on their hind legs in order to scratch at the entrance. Um, they'll scratch at the front door and then when the bees come out to see what's going on, um, they'll eat them off one at a time. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but they can actually eat quite a few bees in a night, um, especially if there's uh, more than one skunk. So, um, if you put them up 18 inches off the ground, they have to stand on their back feet in order to get to the hives and um, that exposes their belly which get, which will make it possible for um, the bees to sting them and then it will deter them and kind of drive them away. So um, I definitely definitely recommend putting them up on something as part of your deterrent plan. You can pick up one of those ca one of those live traps at IFA or you know the tractor store or any, any kind of place so that you can definitely order them online. Um, I actually got a, a little package deal where I got a larger cage and a smaller cage in one. Um, so I went ahead and got that so I have multiple cages set at the same time. Um, you just have to make sure that you check them every day when you set them because it's a live trap and you don't want to have them just in there suffering. So um, that's the biggest downfall with them. So you have a choice between the large cage or the small cage. I recommend you get the larger cages that aren't big enough to get in there. And that's why it ends up tipping it over and then you're not able to catch them. Um, I do have a lot more success with my larger cage um, just because they're not as squeamish as going to go in there and get it go after the bait. So I'm hoping we've already got all the skunk in my area so that we don't I don't have to worry about it. Um, we've sent them for a few nights now and we haven't caught anything but while we were setting them we were catching a skunk every other night um, for a long time so um, it is effective they're good traps um, you have to deal with them after you catch them. Now um, I'm not going to go into detail on how that's done because I don't want people to get mad at me. Uh, we take care of them so that uh, our beehives can survive. But it's, it's worked well and my, I really noticed that my bees are less aggressive 
now that the skunks are bother bothering them. Um, so especially with weak hives, I had one hive that just wasn't growing very well um, and I realized that it was because the skunks kept getting into it and just slowly eating them so the, the queen couldn't really build up her, um, her hive very big and so she wasn't able to lay a lot of eggs at one time so she was just growing really slowly but now that we've gotten rid of the skunks um, she's been growing really fast and doing really well. If you have any other ideas of what you use to get rid of critters in your yard, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. And um, I hope to see you next time. This is the Backyard Rebuilder.